Do you sometimes feel like an outcast? It isn't that you just like to be alone, but sometimes you feel as if you don't quite fit in. That's not to say that you're a loner and that you have no friends or loved ones, but there are times when you prefer to be away from the crowd rather than in the center of it. Can astrology influence you to be this way? Yes, and astrology, along with horoscopes, enables us to determine who the outcast zodiac signs are. Because there are certain personality traits like having a tendency to put your foot in your mouth, nervousness around other people, enjoying solitude, or feeling more comfortable, when you're on your own that can cause someone to feel like an outcast. If you were part of a group and you committed a social faux pas, or if you were always stirring up trouble, you might be considered an outcast. It's not that you don't like people, it's just that sometimes you don't understand why they do the things they do. Being an outcast doesn't necessarily mean being rejected by a group of people or society in general, it can just mean that, for whatever reason, you're not embraced by them. You might be the reason that you feel ostracized from other people. If you get shy and tongue-tied around certain people, you may feel more comfortable being apart from them. You might think in a totally different way than other people and that might make you feel like the odd person out. Some people don't have the social skills to interact with groups of people and there's nothing wrong with that, as long as you're aware of it. You can either work to improve your social skills or you might be more selective in the invitations you accept. Here's the list of 5 zodiac signs who tend to be social outcasts. Number 1, Aquarius, January 20, February 18. You like to tell people how independent you are and how much you like to go off and be by yourself. What you don't seem to know is the difference between solitude and loneliness. If you cut yourself off from other people, that's not solitude, that's being an outcast. Enjoying your own company, thinking deep thoughts, and appreciating your surroundings when you're out in nature is great, just don't do these things at the risk of alienating others. If you feel as if being alone is your only choice, then you need to make an effort to connect with people. Solitude is good, extreme loneliness isn't. Number 2, Capricorn, December 22, January 19. You tend to keep your great ideas to yourself because you want to work on them alone rather than share them with a group. This is what can make you an outcast this reticence to share until a project is nearly completed. You don't want to have to share the glory and praise with other people. In addition, you worry that people might not be able to comprehend your big ideas and that you'll be judged harshly for them, and for any mistakes you make in the process. It's much better to work out all the problems on your own, even if that puts up barriers between you and your co-workers. Number 3, Scorpio, October 23, November 21. You can go from 0 to 100 in intensity and it scares people. No one knows if you're going to explode so they keep their distance. When you feel misunderstood, you tend to separate yourself from others. You try not to scare people with your intensity, but when you get fired up about something or you feel betrayed, people don't feel safe around you. When you find yourself ostracized from a group, it's usually because you acted out of jealousy or revenge and no one wants to witness the havoc you can produce when upset. Number 4, Taurus, April 20, May 20. You feel like an outcast because you think that most people don't get you. You're very sensitive and you can take any small thing as a slight, so rather than risk being hurt, you separate yourself from other people. Sometimes you rub people the wrong way, especially if it's something that you're passionate about and they aren't. You may try to convince them and almost force them to see things from your point of view which often doesn't go over well. You hope if you stay in your lane, no one will get hurt, especially you. Let's proceed to the last zodiac sign. 
Number 5. Pisces, February 19, March 20. Sometimes your status as an outcast is self-imposed. This happens when, no matter what you say, it is misinterpreted. You don't like when are harsh or unkind with you and when it happens, you'll retreat into your own world. You often find it a lot easier to maintain relationships by social media rather than in real time. You can use all your creativity to come up with an online personal who is more relaxed and less moody than you are. However, when the majority of your relationships are online, you've made yourself a social outcast. <laughs>